Hi, welcome to the new DTS Enterprise Billing Report. This report will be replacing the old TUAM reporting process for DTS agency billing. This video will walk you through how to access your agency billing information using this new system. To access the new DTS Enterprise Billing Report, go to the DTS homepage, select View My Bill, and then click on Agency Bills. You will be required to log in using your email address and network password. Now that you're in the report, I'd like to give you an overview of the main page, the service category, or rate group page. On the top right of the screen, you will see your login username, along with the log off button, the home icon, as well as the HTML icon that will enable you to export your report in a variety of formats, such as HTML, PDF, XML, and Excel. Just below these features, you will see the total amount billed in green. This amount will change depending on the filters you select and the number of agencies you view at the same time. On the left, you can see the various filters you can select to generate the information you want along with the Run Report button that is used to generate the report you want to view. To the right of the Run Report button is a Historical Data button and the Training Video button. The Historical Data button will allow you to see billing information out of the old TUAM system. The Training Video button will allow you to watch this video again or share it with other staff members. In the center of the screen, you will see a graphical representation of the services your agency or agencies are using. The pie chart represents your overall agency expenses depending on the number of months you have selected to filter by. By default, the report will bring back all current fiscal year information. The bar graph provides a 13-month history of the services your agency or agencies have used and allows you to view how your expenses are trending over the past 13 months. Below the pie and bar chart is a month-by-month -month list report of the service category categories your agency or agencies have used, along with the total cost, giving you aggregate costs by month, as well as by service category. This report will change depending on how many months worth of data you want to view. Now that I've given you an overview of the main category or the service category page, I would like to give you some more information about the filtering that's uh, on the left of the screen. After logging in, you will be given access to the agency or agencies you have authorization to view. To see a specific agency, select the agency you want to view and then click Run Report. The data will be filtered to bring back only that agency's data you selected. You can view, view multiple agencies by holding the control key down on your keyboard and clicking the other agencies that you would want to view and then select Run Report. The report will also allow you to bring back multiple months worth of data. By default, it brings back the current fiscal year's worth of data, but you can select a single month or multiple months, again by holding down the control key on your uh, keyboard and then select Run Report. The filters can be used in a myriad of ways. For example, if you know the LSID that you want to select, simply click on that LSID and then select Run Report. The information will generate in the center of the screen. As you can see at this point, it generated and it brought back um, information relating to telecommunications. To deselect and go back to the main screen, simply deselect the filter that you wanted and select Run Report, and that will take you back to the main screen where you just started at. This feature works for all of the, the filters, agency, the fiscal year, the month, the line item, appropriation unit, and LSID. Notice at this time I'd like to give you an example of this filter in a little demo. If I was to click on the appropriation unit code 2020 and then select Run Report, again the information would change in the center of the screen based upon the appropriation code that I selected. You will notice though that under uh, Application Services and Communications Work Order, there was no information billed from July until December. And then in January, application services was billed $106.35 for that month. And then communication work order 
Its first building was in February 2014 for $160. That's kind of uh, showing you that there was no information billed during these months and then the billing didn't take place until the January and February. Also to the left I'd like to point out that when we selected appropriation code 2020 it also changed the filtering so that we only see uh, one unit and one LCID. The reason for this is because it's in a cascading style format and when we selected 2020 these were the only unit and LCID available for that appropriation code. One of the other things I'd like to show you is that when you select an agency and let's say you wanted to select the month at the same time um, or you know let's say we've selected May and then you click run report you're going to think that it's going to generate administrative services for the information for May and you look at it and you go oh that didn't happen what happened well it just brought back the information for administrative services with all the months um, uh, filtered here and the reason for that is because this is uh, these filters are set up in what we call a cascading style format what that means is that this filter needs to run first before these subsequent filters can be run because it is uh, filtering all the information by the agency or agencies you selected. So if I wanted to pick uh, a number of months I would simply click those months and then I would run my report again and then I'd also have to click the line items that would be generated in relation to the month and so on and so forth. So I have to click and select a filter and run it, run it for each filter like that. This holds true for all the filters that I was explaining to you. Now that we've discussed filtering, I would like to talk with you about how to access the second level of the Enterprise Billing Report, the service level or rate code level of information. As you can see, I'm on the main page of the uh, Enterprise Billing Report because I'm at the service category level. Just above the pie chart, you can see that designation. I've already filtered by administrative services, so the information in the center of the screen is related to only administrative services at this time. If I wanted to access the second level, I can do this in a number of ways. First, I can simply click on a portion of the, bi uh, the pie chart that I would like to see, or I can click on a portion of the bar chart that I would like to see anywhere here. And lastly, I can click on a one of the links under the service category column in the list report and it will also take me to the second level. So in this case, I, uh, if I click on application services, what it would do is it would generate a, a new tab, as you can see up here, and it would take me to the second level. Now the second level has the same look and feel as the first level, and the filters all perform the same way as they did on the first level. The, the difference is that you're now at the rate code level and the information in the center has changed to reflect that you're on the second level and also here it says that you're at the service or rate code level. As you can see the center, the information in the center as I have said has changed. It brought back project management, maintenance for the enterprise, maintenance for contractor, maintenance for enterprise credit and maintenance for human services all this information is generated in the center. You will also notice that on the left what you can see is highlighted is under the agency is administrative services and the service category that I selected that I wanted to view was application services. These filters are highlighted they kind of give you a reference or a bearing of what filters you've already selected from the first level so that at this point now you can select additional filters by simply clicking on what you would like to see next and then run the report. So this takes you to the second level of uh, detail which is called the service or rate code level of detail of the enterprise billing report. Hi, we've just completed talking about the second level of detail of the new enterprise billing report, the service or rate code level. And at this time, I'd like to discuss the third level, which is the detail level. The Enterprise Billing Report consists of three levels, the service category or rate group level, the service or rate code,
And then we also have a detail level, which will get at the meat of the information and provide you with additional detail about the expenses you've been billed for. In order to access this level, you can do it the same as the service category level. You can click on a portion of the pie chart or a portion of the bar chart. Or over on the left in the list report, you can click on one of the links under the service column and that will take you to the third level of detail. Now what will happen is just like when we came into the service page, it, this, uh, this website was rendered in a new tab and that's what will happen when you go to the detail level is it will show up in a new tab. Now this is what the detail level um, of information looks like. And you'll notice that here on the left, we have kind of header information that uh, identifies what we filtered by already, the agency being administrative services, the date that we filtered by, the year, the service category, and then the, the, the uh, service that we filtered by. This will be in every one of the reports that you generate so that you know what you've already filtered by. Then it'll, it'll produce the line item, the appropriation, the unit, the LCID, the document number, as well as the identifier. And this identifier has a filter in it, and I'll talk a little bit about that in just a second. It'll bring back the value, the rate, the quantity, and the cost. And the cost will be highlighted or bolded here at the, uh, at the bottom of each uh, category. So when we click on the identifier here, we can say, you know what, we want to see this same information by, let's say, employee name. When I click on that, it will generate this report and it will change it so that the information in this detail report is filtered by the employee name. Now it may take a little while depending on about the amount of information that you're trying to generate. But as you can see at this point it had filtered this report and said employee name Lynn Audison um, at a rate of $70.90 charged nine hours for a total cost of $638.10. And then you'll see at the bottom here is that this was the total cost based upon the document number, the LCID, the unit number, as well as the appropriation and the uh, line item. But it is a total of $11,237.65. Now these are just totals at the different categories of this report, but overall the charge was just here at the bottom of, of this highlighted in blue. Now you also notice that we have another section down here and uh, it started again. So what we see here is in the top is that the inf information generated is based upon the LCID um, ASDC admin. And so when we come down here, we get the second uh, level of detail for admin AS0210 and so on and so forth until we have generated all the information based upon the filters that we selected. Now this has multiple pages, so if you'll want to uh, click on page down, or you can go all the way to the bottom and see your, your overall cost at the very bottom. And then you can page up or you can go to the top. So you'll need to pay attention that there is a page down and a way to get to the bottom of this report. So this is what the uh, detail level looks like. Now, if I wanted to do some additional filtering to see uh, you know some additional information, uh, I showed you earlier that this HTML icon, you can export this in a variety of formats, as I said, HTML, PDF, XML, and Excel. And in this case, I'm going to export this in uh, Excel uh, 2000 data format. Now there's Excel 2007 data, and then there's Excel 2007 format, 2002 format, and you can also view the data in a CSV format. So I'm going to, when I click on the uh, Excel 2007 data form, uh, um, link here, it will generate a report in Excel that will look like this. And so this report then gives you the ability to add additional filtering and get into more detail. And so what you do is simply add an, uh, a filter to this report. And then you could filter by unit or LCID or whatever you would want to or identify or description information and so on and so forth. You can just filter to your heart's content to get it uh, more of the detail level. So at this point this gives you an idea of what the uh, detail level looks like and the information that's available for you in the new enterprise billing report.
As I conclude this uh, video tutorial of the new Enterprise Billing Report System, I would like to give you a few tips and hints in using this, uh, this report. Sometimes as you generate a report in one of the formats that I showed you, um, you'll get a, uh, an error report saying it cannot generate that report. This is because the pop-up blocker is turned on on your browser. You can uh, bypass this by simply holding the control key down on your keyboard as you generate the report in the format you want and then once the report is generated you can let go of the control key. Another way you can do this is simply going into your browser turning off the pop-up blocker and if you're not familiar with how to do that you can simply ask your DTS administrator, technical administrator to turn that off for you. Another uh, tip and hint that I would like to give you is that you will notice that um, the Excel format was 2007 and 2002. Um, it, even though it says 2007, the report will generate just nicely in Excel 2010 without any problems. Um, we'd also like you to realize that this uh, report is supported in the major browsers such as Chrome, Fire, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. Future releases will make this report available from the iPad using Safari. Another tip that I would like to uh, make you aware of, which I also mentioned a little bit in the last detail report, is that sometimes uh, report response times can vary depending upon the amount of information you're trying to generate. Generally the reports will run from a couple of seconds to three or four seconds, but sometimes they may take a little bit longer because some of the reports are grabbing a, a huge amount of data. So you need to be patient and your report will generate. Lastly, if you would like additional support, or if you have questions and concerns, please send them to dtsbilling at utah.gov. Or you can submit them via request for support using the DTS Service Desk. Or lastly, you can contact Sarah Brown at 801-538-3460. We thank you and we hope that you enjoy the new billing reporting system.